my entire life I've been f- treated quite bad I-, I feel I feel really alone and I felt like I was gonna search for people with the same issue as me and that is being really unattractive and I've been having lots of issues with that because every video I come across is with a really attractive or normal person and they have no idea how it really is so first of all if you think that I look pretty good right now it's because I'm doing my absolute best to show you that I look good first of all my teeth are f***ed up and I'm pushing forward my jaw all the time I have extremely much loose skin. This is nothing I can do anything about. I've been checking this a lot. I have so much loose skin, it makes me look terrible. I have a big forehead. I got pretty bad posture. I have a really big bulky nose and my lower lip is a lot bigger than my higher lip like my higher lip is normal the rest is not so i'm using my hair i let it i'm letting it grow out so it covers and then i use a hat to hide my and my eyebrows everything is like i do not look good i've never in my entire life had anyone telling me i look good i get so much critic and i'm gonna tell you the story of my life and also i should tell you i may look quite bad but there are people that have it hundreds times worse so i'm not comparing myself to the worst of the worst i'm just here to tell my story let me start off by telling you the story of how i started getting called ugly so i had a very big trouble having friends as younger Everyone always avoided me, found ways to get rid of me, and I sort of didn't care back then. And I'm sorry if this takes time, it's hard to talk to me about. This isn't scripted or anything, this is actually real. I was around 13 when I got my first serious friends, and they were like 16 to 18 beautiful alpha males, and like they were the first ones to start calling me ugly. And um, Things went on and I ended up in school. I remember the first time I started, I was never like caring about girls. Girls were like meh, because I remember being young, they chased around the other guys at the schoolyard and they were like pretending like the girls were trying to kiss the boys and the guys were like, ew. And I remember how they all chased each other and no one chased me. So I was just standing there. I guess there's something wrong with me. I was like the only one at that time that was like, Oh, I sorta of wish a girl would chase me, but that didn't happen, so yeah. Uh, I should just cut to the chase. When I was 15, I started liking girls, like being interested in girls, and... God, this is so difficult, this is so difficult making. I, When I was 15, I realized that I wanted to have love in my life. I was I was 15 years when I realized I wanted that. And like the amount of people that rejected me is astonishing. It's there's it's unexplainable. I remember I was 15, I went to school, I was socially inactive, I was I was a bit overweight, that's where all this comes from because I was a little bit on the overweight side. So I was a bit heavier, not much heavier, but I was heavier. And uh, I think the total sum from when I was 15 to 17 was well over four or 500 girls that I wrote with, that I tried to get into a relationship with. And I wrote with girls that were overweight, that didn't look so good, some of them had a big nose like me, some had big lips, some had shorter hair, 
I even wrote with about I think it was like three three girls that were handicapped. No, this time I was between 15 to 17 years, so I was quite young. And every single one called me ugly. Every single one. And they some some of them were straight up honest with it and said that you're not my type or you're ugly. That's like you know if someone says you're not my type, that's the nicest way someone can say that you're not you're ugly. So always heard you're not my type. So that's something I heard a lot. And after two years I gave up. I I simply gave up totally. And when I gave up I started to care more about writing with people who had it difficult or were sad. That's when I first met the first girl in my life that wanted to be with me. And I spent seven years with that girl and I regret it very much because that was a girl that treated me so badly and was just using me. She did every she called me ugly. She forced me to walk five to ten meters behind her. She'd never hold my hand. She never kissed me. She never did anything to show appreciation of me. She just simply used me. She was cheating on me. She was flirting with other guys online. I always did everything I could when I gave her 20 minutes massages on her back every day. I gave it my all. I tried to be a good boyfriend. I I bought her presents when I had money. I spent my time with her. I altered my personality for her so she wouldn't feel that it was very weird. I tried my best to be the perfect I could and she always told me you're not enough or like you're not good enough or things like that. She always told me that. And this is how it was for about three years. Then I moved and she didn't move with me. She was like, it's not worth it. If you move, it's over. So I moved. It was over. And then she started calling me and being like, you should take me back because you are unlovable. I remember those words so clearly. You are unlovable. That's the worst thing I ever felt. And I was like, screw this. That's the first time I started writing again with new girls. It it had been three years or almost four. I had lost weight. I had uh, started exercising more. I was a bit stronger. Things were a little bit easier, like living. I managed to find a girl. We were just friends. It was chill. She was actually a terrible human being. She was like, she only cared about money, how people look. She wanted to have a guy that took, took care of, of her and all that. So I, I didn't really feel anything for her. We were just friends. And she then one time visited me. She spent her night with me. And that's the first time I felt accepted in like I felt like I had hope in my life I really felt like there's someone for everyone I really felt like there, there are people that will look past your appearance and that's sort of right there are people out there who will look past how you look and be with you, be with you even if you're unattractive and it doesn't even matter to what degree of unattractive you are because there will be girls that will not really care. The problem is finding them. <laughs> this girl and I was friends a few weeks. And then we sort of broke contact and stuff. She was one of those people that were like, I get bored of people easily. So it was like, eh. So we didn't really stay friends. After that time, I sort of got really annoyed of being alone. And my ex wanted to come, come and visit me. The girl I was with for all those years that treated me so bad. And I was so weak, so I said, okay. And I spent another three or... F yeah, it was about three years. And those years sort of improved quite a lot. They were a lot better than the first three years. So it wasn't that bad. 
but it didn't work out because I was so unhappy. I couldn't forget all, all the things in the past. And like we had nothing in common except just being angry on each other. So we broke up and we've, that was about five months ago now. And I moved past everything quite easily. So one month ago, after we broke up, I started to try and date again. And the bombardment of you are ugly or not my type was so unreal. I can tell you a few things that I've been through. I've met people that are extreme, uh, girls that are extremely overweight and don't look well as, uh, well as well. And they tell me, you're not my type, you're way too ugly. Or they, they make up an excuse like, oh, you didn't text me the same day. I can't be free. I can't have you as a contact. And they, they do anything to get rid of you. And then there was this time when I had a date with a girl and I had spent lots of money on making a perfect day together. Like I had set up everything perfectly. And I went on the subway over an hour and I stood on the train, on the train station and I looked for her for two hours before I was like, okay, she gave up. And then I went home and then she wrote that when she saw me, I was so ugly. She didn't have the encouragement to talk to me. And now I made an algorithm for a site that's like Tinder, so that I click a button and it likes 600 people every day, which is the limit. And it's I've done that for over 10 days, so that's I I know easily it's over 6,000 people that I have liked on that side. No one, not a single one, has responded. Not a single one, even though I put on the best photos I can find. Not a single soul wants to reply or write or give a, give a person like me a chance. So where am I standing in this all right now? Extremely depressed, extremely sad, feeling like giving up. I have sort of given up a lot on many things. And all these events through the years have made that I haven't been able to live a normal life. Because my friends were commenting on me not looking good. My family's been commenting on it. Everyone's always pointing it out. And I get so frustrated, sad when people look away. They are like, no, we don't want a guy like you as, my, as our friend. Like, eh. There's so many of us. Unexplainable amount. There are, I've written and talked with so many guys in the same situation as me. I just say that's my conclusion because this is something I've been suffering with. 11 years I've been suffering with this. I've never in my entire life gotten a single compliment that's been real. Personality is one thing. When it comes to love, at least for me in the place I live, only matters how you look. If by any chance you guys will like this, whoever watches it, if even anyone watches it, I don't know. I don't know. Hope it goes better for you. I hope you can sorta of relate to me.